ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜி ஆர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜி ஆர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் how important it is to get married swami is it a necessity of the body or is it the necessity of you know uh, what is the acharya's opinion our acharya sampradaya acharya's opinion on somebody who is not uh, let us say somebody doesn't find a compatible partner who is really interested in kind karma or so for whatever reason maybe the caste reasons or whatever they have not mm-hmm. found uh and they're not interested in marriage other than for good progeny let's assume uh right then uh, is it advisable to uh, depend on permal and uh, live a life of service to permal or to compromise and just uh, get into some kind of marriage for social you know acceptance and uh, uh, to avoid loneliness or something like that mm-hmm. which where there is a risk of even losing sampradayam and completely becoming materialistic and you know going in that pursuit altogether so mm. what is uh, the question to conclude uh, the question i didn't want to rephrase is that um, how important it is that somebody gets married if the idea is of course that they all they are considering a life of service to bhagwan and acharyas and all the to support you know is it necessary that they be a grahastha or they mm. can be a brahmachari for life and uh, dedicate their life if they are inspired not forced something like that they naturally yeah. feel that inspiration mm. uh, and with uh, guidance can somebody do that swam is it advisable or yeah, yeah i mean it is it is totally up to the individual to a large extent um for example if someone is uh, very confident now that they can lead a uh, um brahmacharya life that is good but whether the thought will prevail 10 years down the road 20 years down the road that is a big question to start with yes now we are young and um, one may be able to think that okay i can easily survive i can easily engage my whole time in um kankeriyam and so on but as days go by one may lose that um, confidence and uh, dedication and at that time one should not feel oh i have done this mistake and by then it would be too late to get married let's say if one crosses 40 years so then it will be too difficult to find a um wife or husband depending on the gender right um so at that time one may become too um angry on oneself and one may even start blaming permal or those who guided us and um, so something it is something which one has to think about um there is no compulsion that one should get married of of course one can remain as brahmachari and uh, live a peaceful life and live a uh, satisfying life there is no compulsion that everyone should get married but marriage is seen again as something which will help the society to ensure that the society grows together it is not just one person's welfare but it is the community's welfare but there are many acharyas for example ambar he got married but he was never interested in in uh, married life there is pillok acharya of course and adige munar perman nayanar um they never get got married there is uh, pundikal jiyar he never got married and then there is uh, even the recent past shri parambudur embar ji first year he also took up sanyas ashrama right from brahmacharya so many such acharyas who did not get married uh, existed so marriage is not the end of all it is not the uh, most important thing in life but it is something which ensures that 
once uh, again if one follows the principles properly once senses are properly controlled once uh, desires are addressed properly and also one uh, gets to have a support system where he is not alone he is supported by his not only his wife but his wife's family and then his children and so on it is a long term support system it is not just i have some company for 20 years 30 years but even after husband and wife or husband and wife dies then there is at least the family uh, who will support that person uh, so it is the support system it is the welfare of the society which makes this grihastha ashrama as an important ashrama but if one is confident that i will not um, deviate forever if one is confident and again that confidence comes from the uh, satsangam he is in the guidance he is getting uh, where he lives uh, and so on there are many people who are able to live as unmarried person so if one is able to do it then there is nothing wrong in ignoring the marriage step but for normal uh, situation it's better if one gets married um one engages in progeny one engages in service along with the wife and children that is the uh, normal uh, way ideal way but if one is not able to do that one, one doesn't require that system then one can easily remain a brahmachari and uh, pursue the spiritual life totally then you speak from uh, adian was asking in the context also of uh, uh not fear of not getting the right partner for me because the uh, world is yes. going there is a inherent fear that you know what if whatever you are following right now the stakeholder is single person so we have yeah, to yeah. take decision but when tomorrow somebody comes and the children come let us say um adin has seen some examples like that they were following nicely but soon after marriage the the complication yes there are many many cases and mm. and there are so many divorces more than marriages these days yeah so, the anxiety etc yes uh, that is the real intent also which that uh, yeah so. yeah that is i think if we have a good satsangam it's important for both the husband and wife to be in satsangam so that both have similar understanding both have similar um intent and so on if one is more advanced other person is um especially not inclined towards uh, sampradaya then that is where the trouble starts mm-hmm. but even if uh, both are spiritually oriented there are even cases of divorces we see uh or you know we know that husband and wife are both nice people but they are not compatible that also happens but hopefully that should not happen because if they are really genuine if both are genuine then they should be able to survive uh the marriage successfully so yes i i understand um the intent of your question um but um as long as the environment is intact both for husband and wife there is uh, spiritual engagement then there will be less uh, scope for any disturbance only if one person is engaged then there will be more scope for disturbance then you very 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 grateful for all these uh, responses ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜி ஆர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜி ஆர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் டு லேர்ன் சச் வேல்யூபிள் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் அபவுட் அவர் ஸ்ரீ வைஷ்ணவ சம்பிரதாய பிளீஸ் டவுன்லோட் கோயில் 
K O Y I L app from Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Our website is koyil dot org. K O Y I L dot O R G.